Hey guys, I'm Demolition Turtle. I'm bringing you another racetrack reviews today. Uh, racetrack review today. Um, if you haven't already, just subscribe to the racetrack review show. Um, that's you can click there and see all of my racetrack reviews so far. Um, I just set that up. But yeah, onto the map. It's Nale Bajorn. I have no idea if I said that right. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Apparently, it's Swedish for teddy bear, which is kind of awesome. Calling him up Teddy Bear in Swedish, which is awesome. Um, and it's by Mr. Dizil and the Nexus. And I think they're both viewers on my channel, so yeah, thanks guys, that's brilliant. Um, and yeah, it's a really smooth track, as you can see. There's like hardly any bumps anywhere. Uh, and they might have used magnets, but I mean, my view is if you can use magnets and make the track better with them, use magnets. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, and also the jumps are really cool. Um, they got some, like, at least one massive jump and another, at least another small jump, and there's, I think there's another small jump as well, um, but they're cool. And one section that I really like, the Dominion Vehicle Pad section, um, it's kind of a twisty Dominion Pad vehicle thing, which I really like, it's a really cool section. Um, but there are a few small problems in the track, most of them are just, uh, small things that could be changed quite quickly, and they'd really add to the track a lot. The big jump is kind of inconsistent. Sometimes you go off to the sides of it, or sometimes you undershoot it. So if you made the landing a bit wider and further back, um, that would make that a lot less um, inconsistent. So that would be good. And uh, there's a, like a little jump onto the asteroids that uses man cannons and dominion shields. I think the man cannons on the far right send you over to the far right of it uh, a bit too far. So if that went over more to the left a bit, that would be good. Um, you try and make that a bit more consistent, because if you saw it at the beginning, I kind of went off to the side and that was annoying. And they could do with some aesthetics, because I mean it's quite a long track, and if you know me, you know I prefer short tracks, because all my tracks are only about 30 seconds to a minute long, and this is quite a long track, so some aesthetics would be nice to spice it up a bit. And there's a few kill zones that could be m that are missing, because um, if you like fall off onto the asteroid or something, it doesn't kill you, um, so you have to either drive off or try and get back onto the track. And it is quite easily cheatable um, in quite a few places, but I suppose that doesn't really ma make that much of a difference if you're not doing it for a tournament, because double wise aren't really that competitive. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're just a few things that you could improve and that would dramatically increase the track. But other than that, really cool track i really like the fact that it's so smooth um yeah it's really cool so thanks for watching guys uh yeah great job with the track by the way um and do subscribe to the racetrack reviews show um i'll put a link in the corner there uh go subscribe to the show um to see more of my racetrack reviews and go follow me on twitter at demo turtle if you want to see more from me subscribe to my channel uh i do lots of videos like this and yeah, thanks for watching guys, have a great day, goodbye.